This episode of Capes and Lunatics is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. This is Luca Perk, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Nightwing News. That's right. It all starts here. 80 years of right. Dick Grayson right here. Yeah, happy 2020, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it doesn't even seem like it. Anyway. Yes, we're going to uh, cover, well, since it's 80, the 80th anniversary celebration, we're going to start with the very first Dick Grayson story, Detective Comics 38. No, hey, I'm Phil, and joining me is... Kristen, hello! So yeah, we're going to start getting you weekly here. Yes, because we have so many comics to go through. There's so many good ones. I mean, I guess we could drop it here. Uh, yeah, then they they just announced that um, not too long ago that they're going to be doing like an 80th anniversary. I guess it's like a Robin special. Yep, yeah. It says it's supposed to come out in March. March yeah. 11th, I think. Yes, it's like a big $10 oh. book, so it should be pretty thick. But Well, we'll be sure to get it and review it, oh, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it just sounds like it's going to be not just Dick, but all the Robins. Oh, yeah. It said it said five. It said it was going to be Dick, Jason, Tim, Stephanie, and Damien. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it should be good. So I said that's one of the only things. I mean, we ran into the same thing when five years ago when he was 75 is Robin is 75. Dick is also 75 or I mean, well now Robin is 80 and Dick is also 80, yeah. but he kind of has to, he's sharing it with Robin. So like he doesn't get his own. It's thing. the concept is 80 years old. Right. Yeah. Well, but I mean both. It's like Robin is 80, but Dick Grayson is also 80. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's kind of like when Batman was 80, Bruce Wayne was also 80. I mean, but Bruce Wayne and Batman are more intimately associated. But, I mean, you know, Dick and John Paul Valley have also been oh, Batman. Yeah. Well, now Thomas Wayne, different ones are running around, so whatever. Anywho, so DC's taking care of the official Robin aspect of it. So we will take care of the unofficial Dick Grayson aspect of it. That's right. How about that? All right. And if you would like companion reading, uh, pick up Dick Grace and Boy Wonder, flip to page one for the sensational character find of 1940. That's right, yes. His early history. All right, though. Speaking of, let's go. All right, I gotta find I have my I have my copy so I can show so I can show pictures. But yes, they I probably everyone. There it is. Yep, there you go. Everyone probably knows the origin. I mean, they even like adapted it in, on Batman the Animated Series. Mm-hmm. Yes, but it's always good to read the original because it's so fascinating. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. How, uh, I don't want to say how much simpler the times were in 1940 because I don't necessarily, I mean, yeah, like, lots of stuff was going on in 1940. It was, you know, um, but... I guess in terms of, well, comics were for kids and they didn't know back then that they were going to become the thing that they are now, you know, where people would be so obsessive about, you know, continuity and so obsessive about how is this happening and stuff. Because there's like lots of, I shouldn't say holes, but there are things that we care about now that, and you can understand why they've adapted Dick's origin multiple times because there are holes in the original that, like, um, people must not have really cared about, or if they were like, yeah, whatever. Um, because, you know, it was mostly for kids. They didn't necessarily figure people would be that. Yeah, it was. It was it. Yeah, they were so geared t- towards kids. And, um, like, I was talking to Danny Fingeroth, the former Marvel editor. It's like, back in the day, they did, like, like you know, just one issue stories because when all they had was the newsstand, it's like, there was no the guarantee you'd ever see the next issue. Right, yeah. And that's why periodically. Um, like what we're gonna read for next week. Um, there's a new or or not like a new origin, but they repeat they repeat it. You know, every once mm-hmm. in a while they like have another Batman. They're like, oh hey, the origin of Batman, 
And you're like, I know the origin of Batman. Well, yeah, but back then they figured kids would cycle. They didn't think people were going to be reading yeah. their whole lives. So they're like, oh, yeah, you know, it's been 10 years since we did the origin of Batman. There's probably new kids who are reading Batman and are like, why is Bruce Wayne doing this? And we're like, yeah, we should update it for them. Maybe you missed that yeah, issue. I mean, Cause yeah, I mean, it's like five cents and printed on crappy paper. They didn't think that it would necessarily. That's why they're worth so much now. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a, I, I wish they were on crappy paper these days so they were cheaper. But I mean, yeah, that's. Yeah, right. Yeah, I know. It's all like four bucks every week just for one comic. But yeah, I just wish that. Uh, well, that's why. They, yeah, like you said, that's why they're so the old ones are so valuable because they uh, degraded over time. Right. Well, and because so many people read them. I mean, we're talking oh, yeah. millions of people read these, and now it's like hundreds of thousands of people actually read the comics. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we- and it's probably not even as many as that because a lot of people, like you, Phil, are buying practically every comic it seems. So. <laughs> and they, I think the big, up- yeah, and the big problem I think they say today is pirating. So there may be more people reading, but just you know, just like with music, people are stealing it. Oh, digitally, really? Mm-hmm. That, that's what they say. Well, I mean, I guess like if I I could buy it and put illegal scans up on the internet for all my friends, yeah. I don't do that. At least but. you bought it. <laughs> but one could. I know. One could. All right. So, oh, Nightwing, it's got your wet nose in my book. Ugh. Um. So yeah, straight up. Originally, it's Robin because of Robin Hood. Yes. Yeah, they don't, there's no like, oh, I wonder what Dick's birthday is. They're like, whatever. Actually, they don't even show him picking the name. He's just like, boom, he comes. Yeah, when it's yeah. time, he's Robin. They, depending on the story, they've, they've played with that. Yeah, first it was Robin Hood, then it was like, oh, he's born in the spring, and wasn't there... S- I, think, I think it's supposed to be a common, I think going, but, you know, we'll find out later this year. Um, I think it's supposed to be like a combination yeah. of... I like Robin Hood, and and I thought there was some version. Maybe it was that the uh, Batman Forever movie. It was some. There was some version somewhere where I thought his. It was just because his mother used to call him Robin or something. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, in Dark Victory, I think they say that. Oh, that's yeah, one. Yeah. So I think it's like a combination now that um, it's supposed to be both. Like he likes Robin Hood, and his mom used to call him Robin or mm-hmm. something. But anyway, it's a great. It's a great origin. I mean, it's become so iconic. I mean, I feel like, but we're biased, but I think this is not totally untrue that Dick's origin has almost become as iconic as Batman's. Oh, yeah. But it's really 1940s. Because, like, how many circuses are there anymore? I know. That's <laughs> what I keep wondering is, like, when are they going to. They- unfortunately, unfortunately. I mean, I think, like, Barnum, Barnum and Bailey or whatever, they. Are they ever going to. I think they just. I think they just closed. I mean, there are still circuses, but it's not the thing that it used. To, it's not the thing that it used to be. Are they ever gonna like take the circus out of his origin? They better not. No, I know. I mean, that'll be sad. I mean, there are still like Cirque du Soleil people and stuff, so it could still work. I don't know if they have children performing in Cirque du Soleil, but whatever. I just but uh, yes. And isn't he credited as like the first kid sidekick? First kid comic book sidekick because I oh, think okay. Dick Tracy had a kid sidekick in, um, in like newspaper comics. No, oh, okay. I think, um, but yeah, he's the first. But yes, I love. And then, of course, because again, we're like now we're so concerned, and you know, in fan fiction and the origin stories, laying out how Bruce actually got custody and stuff. But in this one. Dick's like, oh, I have to go to the police. And Batman pops up and is just like, well, yeah, like, we don't even know. Was Bruce at the circus? We don't know. In this one. And he just is like, nope, you can't go to the police. They're corrupt. And he's like, come home with come home with me. I know. And, and also Batman and Robin, they make that super creepy. But in this one, he's like, I'll protect you. Come to my house. And Dick's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. That feels, very, that feels very 1940s. They flesh that out more in later stories, which we'll get to later in the year. But yeah, it's just, it's like, hey, where'd that circus boy go? I don't know. Right, yeah. He's like, Dick's like, why can't I tell this, please? Batman. Because this whole town is run by Boss Zuko. If you told what you know, you'd be dead in an hour. I'm going to hide you in my home for a while. And he's like, okay, cool. <laughs> 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 and then the Batman thinks back to the time when his parents, too, were innocent victims of a criminal. Batman says, my parents, too, were killed by a criminal. That's why I've devoted my life to exterminating them. 
say, then I want to also. Take me with you, please. <laughs> and Batman's like, well, okay. We're both victims. I'll make you my aid, but I warn you, I lead a perilous life. Dick, I'm not afraid. They didn't even and then have, they take the... They didn't even have, like, Alfred supervision at this point. No, yeah, they didn't. Alfred, Dick, as... It's changed since the 80s, I think, kind of post-crisis. Yeah. But yes, reminder, Robin came before Alfred. Yep. Alfred doesn't come until 1943. Yep. So, yes. Um, but then they do have originally the candlelight oath and swear that we two will fight together against crime and corruption and never to swerve from the path of righteousness. Dick swears it. And then Bruce must reveal who he is because in the very next one, they're training as normal people, mm-hmm. not as Batman. And a circus kid. And then and then Robin's off and ready to go. And then other super 1940s thing. He becomes a newsboy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dick actually does that a lot in the 1940s. He becomes a newsboy. Hey, it was camouflage back then. <laughs> no, I know. It's so, cu- it's so cute. It, but it's also just like a, oh, Think of its time. a reminder of back then that well, one, newspapers that were actually paper were a thing. <laughs> um, and two, that kids had jobs. <laughs> no, like the next thing they'll have, you know, when they update the origin, he'll be like sitting in like a cafe or something. Or he'll be sitting somewhere drinking a coffee, working on his online blog while he's spying on the gangsters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Or he can just be a random kid wandering around, but not selling a newspaper. I mean, he could try to be, like, selling Girl Scout cookies. Well, uh, that wouldn't work because he's a boy. Just, uh, But, you know, just, something like that. Candy bars or whatever. School fundraiser. Just standing on the corner on his phone. Yeah. Yeah. You could just do that. He could say it. Well, I say he could say he was catching Pokemon Go, but I don't think that's a thing anymore. Uh, I don't know. He could be, like, doing Fortnite or whatever. Uh. Uh, yeah. And then he and Batman, they lure Boss Zuko out this time because Boss Zuko runs that town, which I don't think is ever named. Uh, and then, because Batman's cutting in on his money, Zuko's like, that's it. Yeah. I'm going. And he does. And then Robin jumps in and starts beating up the guys. And then, as was recently talked about, actually, on DC Universe in one of the articles, uh, but yeah, I think I think Robin kills someone in the first... <laughs> In the first outing, um, and the first year they were like pretty cavalier about oh, yeah. the first people's uh, people's lives. <laughs> oh yeah, the first year or so, Batman carried a gun. He was hanging guys right, up. and he would just like randomly not. Yeah, there is. If people aren't listening, you have DC Universe. Go back and look the articles by um, Donovan Morgan Grant. And he goes through the first year of Batman and tries to tries to count up all of the people that Batman. Probably inadvertent. I mean, I shouldn't say inadvertently, but all the people that died that Batman killed, not like Batman, you know, murdering them, but the people that Batman was just like, oh, I punched out this goon and he fell into a vat of acid. What are you going to do? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the people he didn't save. And like, yeah, that's what's happening with with Dick. He kicks that guy off into space and then you're like, oh, I wonder what happens. And I think you can barely see it. But yeah, I think that's the dude okay i don't know how to do this there's the dude plummeting uh i'm bad at this plummeting into space i mean probably he's dead (laughs) oh those wacky vigilantes i know yeah i was like uh... but yeah this might have been right before they named gotham city because it says uh the city was first identified as gotham city in batman number four which is winter of 1940 Oh yeah, but it's. I think it's not supposed to be taking place in Gotham, though. Hmm. Oh, just wherever the circus was at. Yeah, because it says. Hmm. Oh no, Bruce is in the audience enjoying the show. Sorry, my bad. It's just one tiny little thing. Yes, Bruce enjoys the show. That's how he slips out. Because I was gonna say, then how would Bruce or Batman find out about Dick's parents and stuff? Yeah. Well, he says this whole town is run by Boss Zuko. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I was thinking, but maybe that's because in newer ones. Yeah, no, there. Now, D- Bruce. Dick, we're going back to the small town to go to work. You're going to get a job as a newsboy. Yeah, so I think it's supposed to be a smaller town outside of Gotham. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because, you know, Bruce is Commissioner 
Gordon's friend. So I think even in the beginning, they wouldn't want to imply oh, yeah. that Commissioner Gordon was <laughs> not keeping this thing. That's right. And then, so they catch Boss Zuko murdering somebody and he's going to get executed. Because <laughs> again, 1940s, so they're like, oh yeah, we're sending you to prison and you're going to get the electric chair. That's cool. <laughs> Which is like, ooh. Oh yeah, and then um, I think it's a great origin story, but again, because they're still very much thinking like, hey, these comics are adventures for kids. The impact of like your parents dying and how that might affect you is really not here. Oh, yeah. Because after they do it, then Bruce is like, well, Dick, now your parents' deaths have been avenged. Are you going to go back to the circus? And he's like, no, I think mom and dad would like for me to fight crime and I love adventure. So again, there's like no hand waving, like what's up with the cut? This is like hand wavy, whatever. What's up with the custody? Dick's a kid. We don't even know how old he is because they're very careful to not reveal how old he is until he goes to college. <laughs> then he's like, oh, he must be 18. <laughs> uh, and it's like, yeah, he's just like, nah, I think I'll stay with you. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> he's just like, I love adventure. Well, again, that's and just Bruce's like, like, okay. <laughs> that's just like the comics form back in the day because it's like, oh, by next issue, he'll be over his parents' death. <laughs> right, yeah. And then Bruce is like, okay. But why didn't you wait for me? And he's like, I didn't want to miss any of the fun. And then I do love this line because it's such a great 1940s. I can't wait for our next case. I bet it'll be a corker. That's... <laughs> no one says that anymore. No. <laughs> love it. So, yeah. So, I mean, it's a good it's a good origin story. It's iconic. But definitely I can see why it gets reinterpreted. Um, it's very, of its, it, it, it's, very of its time. Yeah. Yeah, it's very every time, and there are like very obvious holes. Like mm. Batman just runs off with this kid from the circus, and then Dick Grayson just ends up living with Bruce Wayne. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, later story. Like, yeah, later stories we get to, they'll fill in the you know holes where like Bruce had to actually you know petition for guardianship and stuff. But yeah, no. Right. Just- yeah, and I'm just wondering if it's because maybe. Um, they started to realize like older people were reading too and that th- maybe it's because you know batman became a thing and they didn't necessarily know he would become a, he would become a thing because it's yeah it's not that i i mean the 1940s are not my time period but i'm pretty sure even in 1940 you couldn't just pick a kid up off the street and take him home with you um so i think it's not like it's of its time but it's also because they figured eh, whatever kids are reading this we just need to introduce the kid Let's not belabor the point. They were like, yeah, whatever. It's fine. Like, Bruce is rich. He can afford to have this kid. It's cool. We just need to get him a kid. <laughs> we're going to bore the kids with all that boring paperwork. Right. Yeah. They're like, eh, it's fine. I mean, because later in some origins, as we'll see, they take more time. But I think there's even some, like, I don't know, in the 60s, 80s, whatever, where they're like, Bruce Wayne took Dick home, and he adopted him, and then he made him Robin. Like, it's one panel. They're like, yeah, we know that that should have happened, so it happened. Moving on. <laughs> and then it's just so, I think it's so weird, like, right before Crisis, when they bring in Jason Todd, they basically give him Dick's same origin. Like, he's a circus acrobat. Yes. But then they yeah. they change it after Crisis, where he's a street Yeah, kid, I but... can't understand why they changed it after, after Crisis. I need a partner. I mean, I like... I need a partner I mean, with a re- certain set of skills. Right, yeah. I mean, it kind of made sense, but I feel like part of why they must have changed it was by even by the 80s. I mean, circuses probably still weren't quite the thing that they were in the 40s. I mean, I don't know. I don't think in the 80s too many people were like, oh, animal cruelty and stuff like they are now. Well, just the, why circuses are closing. But. Well, just for the whole Jason thing, I think people just resented him because, you know, with, with that first origin, they're like, oh, he's just a clone of Dick Grayson. Right, and then when they made him a, gave him a new origin, then they were like, "This kid's a jerk." Yeah, and I think some of the, I mean, I think some of the writers haven't some of the writers even kind of said that like, eh, I didn't really like using Robin, and I didn't like that he was a kid. I think unfortunately some of the writers didn't like Jason, and so they didn't yeah. write him very nicely. Yeah, no, and yeah. Yeah, I think, again, pre-crisis, I think Jason was kind of just like a placeholder since uh, they put Dick in the uh, New Teen Titans. Because, yeah, because like I said, same origin, say, you know, he even died, he was a redhead, so he dyed his hair black. It's mm-hmm. kind of creepy. I mean, and that Jason was a, was a sweet kid. Yeah, and then when Jason appears in the um, 
New Teen Titans, even though I think it's kind of after Crisis, they're clearly kind of going with, like, original Jason. I mean, uh, not that he has red hair or whatever, but, you know. Yeah. He wasn't as silly. But anyway, yeah. I mean, it was better. They made Jason, like, a little... I mean, some of the writers did not do justice by Jason, but his updated origin story, you know, yes, is cool. It makes him more different. It makes him unique, and that's good. Heck yes. But I think even... In the 80s, in their Jason's original story, they like, they, you know, they don't just like, Batman doesn't just like take Jason away. <laughs> yeah, They're like, oh, Jason's parents. Because originally Dick's like, oh no, I know what he's going through. I should adopt Jason. And Bruce is like, don't worry, I got this. I also know what he's going through. I'll adopt Jason. You're like, oh, okay. But yeah, I mean, there's at least a couple issues where before Jason like actually put on that suit, because I... The actual issue where he puts on the suit, they're like, "Oh, what what identity should I use?" And then, yeah, and then even later, I think they made Tim wait like a year at least before he put on the Robin suit. Yeah. Well, except for that first appearance. <laughs> right. Hey, 1940s man. Do you have the training montage? It's like a movie, you know. Time passes just enough. Montage. Boom. We're ready. Why? Why do? Off and going. Why does Batman wear dark colors? He doesn't want to get shot. Why does Robin wear bright colors? Batman doesn't want to get shot. Yeah, but also there's not as many colors in the yes. comics in 1940. Oh, yeah. um, so Robin has to be different. Uh, that's the way. The other thing I love, of course, is, as we'll see in future issues, is Robin is pretty, or Dick is pretty much always wearing Robin colors. Yes. Like, even when he's not Robin, he's wearing Robin colors. Because, again, they don't have as many colors. They're like, hey, look, this is Dick Grayson. See? See? Yes. Yep. I mean, because, like, there, he's just Dick, and he's wearing a green shirt, and Bruce is wearing blue. So you know. Heck yeah. All right. It's a good origin. I mean, it's very it's very 1940s, but it's classic. But, yeah, it's iconic. Yeah, it's I mean, iconic. it's, it's kind of remembered yeah, just the same like Batman's is, like I think we already said. Yeah, it's right up there with getting shot in the alley. And again, he's like, I think the first, like we said, I think the first costume teen sidekick, because I looked, uh, Bucky Barnes was like the year later, I think. Well, plus Bucky's not a kid, right? Isn't Bucky and Steve like the same age? In the, no, in the, well, in the movies, they kind of did that. In the comics, no, he was a kid. He was like a Robin. Oh, he was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And there's a well, that's better when it's a name like Bucky then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I imagine some like 20 something dude like, hey, I'm Bucky? <laughs> Yeah, Whatever. I think they got the idea from Robin. Yeah, he was you know Captain America. Oh sure, yeah, yeah. Well, there. I mean that's where like Speedy and Kid Flash and all them come from too. Yeah, because yeah, but I think Bucky's parents were killed or something, and like the army base they like they were on, they kind of just like adopted. <laughs> it's where this army battalion just like adopts a kid. <laughs> okay, I've heard of army battalions doing that with a dog, but yeah. not with a child. <laughs> but again, nineteen forties. It, maybe it was a little different. Yeah, yeah, because it was like, you know, then he finds out Steve Rogers, Captain America. Hey, I want to be your partner. Okay, kid. Okay, kid, here. Put on yeah. this, this red and red. Well, like suit. I said, I mean, they were aiming it at kids, their oh, yeah. adventure, fun time things. They didn't expect people to take them as seriously. So they, it's like, we don't need to come up with all this serious, serious origin to fill these plot holes and stuff. And I think it was like, we have Batman and we need him to have a kid sidekick. And we need this kid sidekick right now, so we can't have Batman like get married and have a baby, because then we gotta wait for the kid sidekick. We just need like boom, dead parents, kid sidekick, boom. And it, I don't know, it kind of. T- I even though they still killed guys probably in this issue, it kind of tones down the violence because that seems to be their message back in the day. It's like, do remember, kids, crime doesn't pay; it will kill you. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's almost yeah. It is almost imme- it is almost immediate that they. That they cut it, that they cut it down, and like even though this isn't on our thing, um, at the end of Batman issue one, so you've got so uh, back in the day for a long time when uh, the Batman, the Batman comics came out quarterly as yeah. opposed to monthly, and so they have four stories in each one, and so Robin comes out, and then the very next month is Batman issue is Batman issue one, um, and so the first story is presumably what would have they swapped out for Robin because they were like, we need Robin. But then at the end of Batman issue one is one of my faves, 
Robin's regulars. No. Oh. Where it says golden rules for Robin's regulars. Robin's code, which is a little acrostic of Robin, readiness, obedience, brotherhood, industriousness, nationalism. <laughs> little kid helping this old person across the street. Thank you very much for helping an old man across the street. I'd like to repay you for it. Little kid. Oh no, sir. I couldn't take anything. You see, I'm a member of the Robin's regulars. Our first motto is always be helpful to those who need help. Oh. So immediately they're odd, good citizen thing. Why not become one of Robin's regulars? No button or badge is needed. The world will recognize your golden axe without them. Be a Robin's regular by being regular. So there, that's a new New Year's resolution for us all to aspire to. Let's be regular. <laughs> oh, yes, everyone. <laughs> we can be a Robin's regular. Let's help old people across the street. Nice. But it's very 1940s, because, I mean, I'm honestly, I want to be helpful to those who need help, but I'm not super into obedience and nationalism. <laughs> Some people are. Those have, uh, <laughs> those have taken on slightly different connotations nowadays. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, but there we go. It's a, cla it's a classic origin. It's a great story, though, that repays frequent updating so yes. long as you keep the circus aspect because you know we don't have newsboys and you can't just be taking kids from the circus and getting away with it anymore <laughs> yeah unless you're frank miller <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <sighs> making him eat rats anything else <laughs> nope <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yes, we've started our our weekly journey through 2020. So send your thoughts on next next episode. We're doing what Batman 32 and Batman 20. Uh, yes, Batman. I've got them right here. Batman 32 is uh, a second origin. It is Dick Grayson, Boy Wonder, from December 45, January 46. And then, because we're still in the uh, section of things Chris and picked, Batman 20, a huge favorite of mine. We're just doing one of it. December 43, January 44, Bruce Wayne loses the guardianship of Dick Grayson. I love that one. I have so much to say. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Dick Grayson. Boy, wonder you say. Oh! Like this. Yes! <laughs> Like your popular book, which you can all pick up on Amazon right now. Indeed. And if you're listening to these, you're going to want to pick up this book. Nice companion, especially... It talks about many of the things we're talking about. Yep. Some of the stuff we talked about today, the stuff we're going to be talking about throughout the year. So, yep. yeah. So, send your thoughts. Uh, Capesandlunatics at gmail.com. Call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. Uh, check out uh, all the Nightwing news and all the other Capes and Lunatics social media at links, uh, links to the YouTube, everything at uh, Linktree, that's L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Capes and Lunatics. And like we said, uh, the Grace and Boy Wonder. Go pick that up. Uh, go pick up Pod Life the Book for all you podcasters. Uh, Hunt to Killer, Tweaked Audio, uh, support the sponsors, and check out the Amazon link in the show notes. Uh, put some money into the network because these cost money to put up. And you never want to promote anything, so. You already did all the work. I know. You're like, I'm like your puppet. Say the book, say the book. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everyone. Come back next time. Hey, come back every week. Like we said, we're going to be here every week. Can we say same bad time, same bad channel? Sure. <laughs> we need to make it like same wing time, same wing channel. There you go. Or if anyone has any uh, suggestions, send them in. Yeah. Yes, next time, Batman 32 and Batman 20. Classics both. Oh, yeah, still in the 40s. Heck yeah. All right. Join us back here next time. Same wing time, same wing channel. Same wing channel. <laughs>
Goodbye.